It's pretty exciting for a San Diego company, being that it is the first FDA-approved drug to treat this condition that affects Parkinson's patients. First, tell us about uh, the psychosis that comes with some Parkinson's patients. Yeah, sure. So, <clears throat> as you mentioned, over 50% of Parkinson's patients will develop psychosis during the course of, of the disease. The psychosis is primarily manifested through hallucinations and delusions. Uh, our drug, uh, Nupia, as you mentioned, is the first and only drug approved by the FDA to treat Parkinson's disease psychosis. And in fact, last week, the FDA issued a very public, very clear statement reaffirming the uh, benefit risk profile, positive benefit risk profile of Nuplazid. Uh, this is important because, as we, we mentioned, over 50% of Parkinson's patients suffer from uh, Parkinson's disease psychosis. And uh, just to put that in, in context, uh, Nuplazid is a very different drug than all other antipsychotics. All other antipsychotics work primarily by blocking a neurotransmitter called dopamine. You've probably heard mm -hmm. of it. Uh, Parkinson's patients, of course, suffer from a lack of dopamine. So using those drugs in a Parkinson's patient can be very problematic. Our drug works through a very different biological mechanism. It doesn't block dopamine. We demonstrated in clinical studies that we don't impair the motor function of Parkinson's patients. And importantly, we reduced the uh, hallucinations and delusions significantly in about three quarters of Parkinson's disease uh, patients. Um, in addition, we about 14% of patients had a complete remission of all psychotic symptoms. And, and you mentioned that benefit versus risk factor. And as with any pharm pharmaceutical drug, there is a, a risk factor. What are the risks that come with Nuplazid? And who uh, perhaps are better candidates for taking the drug as opposed to others? Yeah. yeah, it's a great question. You're absolutely right. All drugs have a certain, what we refer to as a, as a benefit risk profile. And as the FDA reaffirmed, uh, last week, we have a very positive benefit risk profile. Um, the good news about Nuplazid is with this very unique biological mechanism, we have a very favorable tolerability profile. With other antipsychotics uh, that work through blocking dopamine, you typically get a lot of other liabilities associated with that. Liabilities such as very significant metabolic issues, a lot of patients gain significant amounts of weight, they can impair cognition, they're very highly sedating, and they can impair motor function, particularly in elderly patients. So we just don't see that kind of profile uh, with Nuplazid where we have this very different biological mechanism. Now, being that it is uh, an antipsychotic, it deals with the hallucinations that these Parkinson's patients suffer from. Could this drug, Nuplazid, be applied to other conditions that perhaps cause hallucinations? Yeah, it's a, it's a great question. You know, this is the kind of drug that we love to develop because at this point, we know so much about the drug. We know the tolerability and safety profile that I described. We know how to make it. Uh, we know the drug-drug interactions, and they all look very positive. What we don't know yet uh, at this point is the full utility of this drug this, with this very unique uh, mechanism. We think it could have utility in, in other important diseases, and we have large clinical studies ongoing currently in major depressive disorder, which has very high unmet needs in two areas of schizophrenia where no drug is approved today, and in dementia-related psychosis. Dementia-related psychosis includes Alzheimer's and other dementias. There, too, there's no drug approved to treat the psychosis in those patients. So we think Nuplazid has the potential to improve the lives of literally millions of patients. Well, we certainly hope so. Of course, uh, anybody should should be advised to talk to their doctor first, of course, but of course. interesting and uh, very unique and made right here in San Diego. So That's right. Appreciate you being here, Steve Davis. Thank you so much.